In this project, you will see how to build a web server with ESP that controls dual DC motor directions and one servo motor position using four buttons and a slider. Let's get started. I will use the My Last Design DRV88 driver Wi-Fi development board, but the source codes of the project are also compatible with other motor drivers. If you need an ESP Wi-Fi development board that can drive dual DC motors, you can order this PCD from PCD Way with high quality and low price. You can reach the features of this board, all stages such as soldering and assembly from the shared link. Let's take a look at the source codes that allow to control DC motor directions and servo motor position via web server. Added the necessary Wi-Fi and servo libraries to use the Arduino IDE. A servo object named MyServo has been created. GPIO pins to which servo and DC motors are connected are defined. If your drive doesn't include a sleep pin, change the sleep mode lines to comment lines. Motor speeds are defined and can be changed according to demand. Replace your network details with these lines. A variable was created to store the header of the HTTP request. Then a few more variables were created to be used to extract the slider position from the HTTP request. In the setup section, serial communication is started and the modes of the connected pins are specified. If sleep pin is not used, you can remove the line. Then the Wi-Fi connection is started and the IP address is printed on the serial monitor. Finally, before moving on to the loop part, functions were created for the move and direction of the motors. In the loop part, it was defined what happens when a new client first establishes a connection with the web server. Then the web server is generated and some HTML text is sent to display the web page. The web page is sent to the client using the client print function. You must enter what you want to send to the client as an argument. Let's take a look at the HTML codes that the ESP sends to the browser. The web page has some CSS for the buttons and slider. If you are sure of what you are doing, you can change some properties defined in this section, such as colors and sizes. Four button classes were added and motor directions were defined for each button. As long as the button is kept pressed, the direction value of the button will be taken, and when the button is released, the stop value will be taken. Then a slider is added. Minimum and maximum range is defined to the slider. Created a value string variable to hold the slider value. Finally, you make an HTTP JET request to get the values. Two functions are executed that process the button direction values and the slider value. If you want to make changes on the web page, I will share these HTML codes together with the source codes. Remember, you must update the HTML lines you make changes to the HTML lines found in the shared source code for the Arduino IDE. The point you should pay attention to when making changes is that you need to add the backslash symbol before the double quote symbols in the HTML code. Let's load the source code and test the functions. After uploading the code, open Serial Monitor. Copy the IP address that appears on the Serial Monitor. Open your browser, paste the IP address, and you will see the previously created web page. Press and hold the motor direction buttons and release. In the Serial Monitor, you can see the HTTP requests you are sending to the ESP. The IF and ELSE statements are a condition. It controls which button is pressed and runs the function determined according to the received data. This data contains the variables defined for the buttons. When you move the slider, the slider position between the two symbol is taken and stored in the value string variable. Then this string value is converted to an integer value. This converted value is written to the servo motor position. The servo motor moves to this position value. Let's connect the servo motor and DC motors to board and see how the program works. You can find all the details and shared links about the project in the video descriptions. Thanks for watching.